Most people know that astronauts use technical skills during their missions, but we also rely on interpersonal skills, like collaboration, flexibility, and responsibility. NASA recognizes the importance of these life skills and has designed the Expeditionary Skills Training Series. These expeditions in learning will help you gain abilities you can apply in almost every part of your life. Let's get started. Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Anne McLean, and I want to talk to you today about leadership and followership. Most people think that leadership is about being the best at everything and telling others what to do, but that's not actually true leadership at all. Leaders find the people who are the best, then they encourage, they enable, and they inspire those people to accomplish great things. Great leaders do more listening than talking because their job is to know every team member and to help them do their best. Good leaders give the credit for success to their team, but they take responsibility for the failures. When everyone on the team is all in and feels valued, then the leader is doing a good job. And followership, believe it or not, is actually another form of leadership. Good followers do not just follow, but instead they lead themselves, their peers, and even their leaders when needed. If you're in a follower role, I want you to think like a leader. I want you to ask yourself, as a team, what are we trying to accomplish? What can I contribute? Is what I'm saying helping, or is it hurting our progress? Sometimes as a follower, you don't get to set the team's mission or the vision, but you're absolutely critical to its success. Here at NASA, we often lead, we often follow, but even more often, we do both on the same day. Here's an example. At NASA, we train for space by flying jets on Earth. Not all of the astronauts are pilots, though. So some people sit in the back seat, and they help the pilot with navigation, radio calls, or monitoring the status of the engine. Even our chief astronaut, our most senior leader who has flown in space many times, is not a pilot. But some of the newest astronauts who have never flown in space are pilots. When we're in the office or there's a big decision to be made, the chief astronaut is in charge. But when he goes flying, he sits in the back and the pilot is in charge, a pilot who could be brand new to the office. And the chief listens to that pilot during the flight because he or she is in charge of the jet and in charge of the mission. After the flight's over, the chief is in charge again and the pilot listens to him. This happens every day, and it even happens on the space station when we change command. It's very important that we trust and we listen to each other, because everyone is good at something and will be in charge at some point. You know, you may not notice, but you switch back and forth between leadership and followership all the time. I'll bet a lot of you play sports. And when you have the ball, you're leading the team. Then you make a decision, and your teammates support by either blocking out the other team or getting in a position to help. And as soon as you pass the ball, another player becomes the leader, and you become the follower. I want you to practice being good leaders and good followers, like we do here at NASA. You'll be surprised by how much success you're a part of. Trust and listen to the people around you, whether you're the leader or the follower. We accomplish more this way, and the sky is no limit. NASA and the 4-H Youth Development Program have joined forces to teach these critical skills. Your challenge is to create a scenario using leadership and followership in your own life. It's time for you to take on the challenge of your quest. Good luck.